got caught up in the wrong crowd and went the wrong way and then got caught with the law and then I got deported. My name is Robert Taylor. I am 44 years old and uh, currently I live on the street. I originally grew up in um, East Kingston and I left my mother and my mother filed for four, there's four, two brothers, two sisters. Two sisters went up first and then my, me and my brother. Uh, my mother filed first when I was about 11 years old. So I never really grew up fully in Jamaica. I raised, I was also raised in a US, you know. I went to a school from seventh grade until university in America. I've been in Jamaica since 2004. Um, 2004. When I went to New York from Jamaica at the age of 12 years old. I lived with my mom until I was about 14. I guess she gonna deal with the uh, care of four of us. So um, she was kind of like losing her mind, getting senile and stuff also. So I went on a, she put me out. I went to the foster care system in New York um, City, I being a ward of the state. And I went to college from there. I was actually going to college and I went to LaGuardia University and I went to State University of New York, Morrisville. But uh, while my mom, after my mom kicked me out and I was living in the uh, foster care system, being a ward of the state, I uh, started going to university while I was going to high school. And I got an um, invitation from the um, mayor at the time he's Giuliani and he said he wanted to give me a, a like a, a invitation to come to Gracie Mansion that's the where the mayor lives in New York and uh, I was gonna eat dinner with him to uh, reward me for the accomplishments I've, I've made right going to university and stuff so uh, I never went because you know I was listening to uh, folks around me and friends saying oh he's racist he doesn't like black people and stuff like that but I did get an official invitation from him and I didn't win. It's a very very bad mistake but I didn't have proper guidance around. When you see an opportunity you have to grab it by the bull like a bull horn you have to grab it and don't let go regardless of what or whoever might say what. That's why it's so good for young kids to have good positive guidance around them got caught up in the wrong crowd and went the wrong way and then got caught with the law and then I got deported, you know. Yeah, I was like hustling, you know, money. They call America the country of second chances. And um, I, I've made a mistake and I've learned few skills, quite a few skills during the time from then till now because it was money I was pursuing and I went about it the wrong way. So. Now I have certain level of skills with me. I don't think I'll go back that way. I would um, go forward and just be a very productive member of society. People who are living on the street, we face various um, challenges and it doesn't make the situation any better by being um, mean to us and by being um, ostracizing us, basically. It doesn't make the situation any better. We would do a lot better if um, the community as a whole, um, the human family, you will embrace us and try to uplift us back to a place where we can um, be productive in society and um, you know and, 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 and have some sort of like a accomplishment of self. It's been challenging and um, informative, but very challenging and sometimes you're stressed and lonely. Right, but um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to cope as, possible, as best as possible. I don't really have any family here. If you have extended family, like cousins or so, but they don't really, they're gonna say, oh, when he was in America, he never cared about me, so why should I help you? So that's the mentality. They um, shun you, <laughs> and they look at you as if uh, probably you're not, um, you're losing your mind or something like that. You know, they don't really like come and say, all right, let me give you a helping hand. Let me lift you up or not, nothing of that sort. I cut my own hair. I don't go to a barbershop. Well, actually, um, it started um, when I was in high school, but I learned about it in prison right, while I was incarcerated. And I cut anyone else's 
here if you want, but because of uh, lack of necessities or la restriction of tools to be used in like a confined area like a uh, prison, you have to uh, like get adjusted with a little razor blade, right? So I would cut inmates here and met him on the street here uh, about a year and a half ago or two years. We have been friends, we converse with each other and he shares with me, I share with him. And ever since I've been cutting his hair, he teach me a lot about women, uh, money, how to deal with people. Greatest lesson I've learned is to be self-reliant and try not to get involved with anything that is wrong. I have to even go back to school because I have, a, I have a, an associate's degree and I would like to get a bachelor's. I would like to get a bachelor's in business and economics. First of all, I would uh, like to be, in order to go to school, I can't enter a university or a tertiary institution by living on the street. It's not going to work out. So I would first like to get off the street and then get some sort of employment that can help me to whether substitute pay for, the, for, for my education. And after that, I would uh, even do voluntary work if it's possible and try my best to finish my degree. And I will do it. I will do it. I believe I can. So we just need uh, help financially um, uh, 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 and uh, even, even something. It's not only about money. Sometimes we just need someone to talk to who can guide us in our right direction and give us good advice. Because you're not really going to get good advice on the street. Do you have any children? Yeah, I have two. Uh, they're living in um, Trelawney, Matabri Trelawney. The boy is 11, the girl is 14 yesterday. I am um, helpless because I know they need my assistance, but I can't help them because I'm living on the street. So I just stay away from them. I help them in no way, no shape, no form. Well, um, anyone desire to reach out to me, uh, I would um, appreciate it very much whether financial or either employment, because I'm not a lazy person. I work, I um, sell on the street. I sell uh, nail clips, tie straps, um, various things. But uh, I do every and anything that is handy. <laughs>